I've gotten lucky getting free collabs. When I say I gained a thousand followers in 24 hours, yeah. So then I went on, I feel so creepy for doing this. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing the second episode of my business talk series. The first video that I did was talking about a little bit of uh, my own experience in the business industry with my own brand, which is the one and only shop. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I would definitely recommend watching that one so you have a little bit of an idea of what my background is if I'm watching a video I want to know why the person is qualified to speak the facts you know but in today's video I'm going to be talking about influencer marketing and my experience with influencer marketing how I started doing it and a little bit of introduction on how I started doing my marketing in general for my company I'm going to be focusing a little more on the Instagram aspect of marketing and less on like YouTube Facebook and other apps where you you can do marketing but there are so many other platforms where you can start doing your marketing for your business there's endless possibilities but just for today's video I'm going to be focusing more on Instagram but before we jump into the video don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you do not want to miss any other episodes of the business talk series and just other videos that I make also don't forget to follow my Instagram page it's just Sabrina a Tam. I'm gonna leave it right here for you guys super easy to find and lastly go follow me on TikTok. I've been super active on there so if you want to go see my little Little videos that I post daily on TikTok. Here's my username is just Sabrina Atam once again. So let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so the first questions that I'm going to be addressing in this video, I have a whole little list of my notes that I have to talk about because there's so many things that relate to influencer marketing. So this video is going to be a little longer than expected, but it's just because I want to cover as many details as I can to help you guys out. The questions I'm going to be addressing today are how to get big influencers to promote your brand. So I mean like influencers that have hundreds of thousands of followers and I've gotten personally influencers with millions of followers, 100,000 followers promote my brand absolutely for free, which is crazy. The second question I'm going to be addressing is how to grow your social media platforms in general, because if you're starting a brand you're obviously gonna start with zero followers how to bring that up a little get to 10k have a nice professional platform to display for your new customers to visit and see your products on. So the first thing, the most important thing, especially in influencer marketing is connections. I want to really focus on that idea because I feel like many people might come out into this new game of having a business and wanting to promote it with the idea that they'll get a free collab. And I've gotten lucky getting free collabs I've gotten people with big accounts uh, promote my stuff absolutely for free and I am super grateful for that. I do not take that for granted at all because I was actually very lucky to have that happen to me. But all of that to say that you won't get your stuff promoted for free just like that. It comes with a lot of work behind it and that's where connections come in. I personally got stuff promoted because I had a connection with the person. For example, if you guys don't know the influencer Elizabeth Ryu. I used to work for her company as a market marketing director so I got her to promote my stuff because I was working for her and we knew each other because we would see ourselves at work and then I was always a big fan of Elizabeth she was the one that helped me actually motivated me to, to start my own brand I was like if this young teenager can start her brand why can't I and she was from Montreal Canada where I'm from and it just motivated me to start it and just like jump into the project already so so when I started working for her, we kind of like bonded on that. So then we created a connection there and then she promoted my stuff, which is absolutely amazing. I had given her stuff just because I wanted her to wear it. Like I was just like, you helped me start this. So you need to have a piece of clothing or like a hoodie or something like that. When she promoted it once, then my page got recognition. I gained followers. Uh, people were starting to buy. And then that later progressed into uh, many more mentions that she did for me, which once again, I am very grateful for. So my first connection in the industry was because of Elizabeth and because Elizabeth promoted the, the company and people saw that she promoted, promoted my company, other smaller influencers that saw she promoted it actually were interested in promoting my company. So 
the key idea here is that you have to make one connection. One that Once that one connection is made, the other connections will be easier to make. You just need to make that one connection. The hardest one is the first one, and once you're in, it's easier to get other ones. I'm not saying it's like you're gonna get so many collab opportunities, but I'm just saying the first one is the hardest one to get, especially when you're, you're starting like off from zero, you know? Once she promoted it, then I had a few other influencers with less followers than her, but still had a good amount of following, wanting to promote my, promote my brand and then once they promoted it then others saw it, and then it was kind of like it spread out like that another story that I want to tell you guys that was very cool and this was out of luck not out of connections I did the work to get to that and make that happen like I really wanted to share it in this video because in situations like that that you can get the most amazing opportunities and that's why I want to mention it in here so that you guys can go out and do crazy stuff like this and who knows maybe get like the best opportunity ever so um, I was a huge fan and I am still a huge fan of Adeline Morin she is a Toronto based youtuber I knew that Adeline was coming to Montreal she was coming to Montreal to attend Oshiaga this is a little creepy I had to go like in inv investigation mode for a second she posted in her story that she was coming to Montreal and she was in the plane so then I went on I feel so creepy for doing this I'm like I'm a I'm a person with good intentions and like anyways I'm just gonna say how I did it and yeah don't be as creepy as me but at the same time like it was worth it in the end but whatever she posted she was in the plane so then I calculated the time from LA to Montreal that the flight would take and then I went on the Montreal airport website and then I found I didn't find the exact flight because I didn't know on what flight she was on I didn't know if she was on a private jet or she was flying on a big airline flight or whatever but I tried to figure out and kind of estimate which flight she would be on so then I found the flight and then me and my friend headed to the airport and waited there for the flight because we were like oh we're gonna wait there when she's gonna come out we're gonna meet her and it's gonna be super cool we waited we waited we waited we waited and then the flight that I thought she was on was delayed so we ended up waiting three hours and then at the end my friend's like do we just give up like she's probably not even on the flight blah 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 and I was like come on we waited this long we have to wait till the flight arrives and when the flight arrives she was on it <laughs> So then we like met her and I have a whole vlog about the experience. I'll link it right here and down below so you guys can watch the whole experience because it's crazy. But yeah, we meet her and I had brought one of my sweaters that I wanted to give her so she can wear it. So I gave it to her, once again, not expecting anything. I really feel like when you don't expect anything, that's when you get the most out of a situation. When you expect something, then you get disappointed. So now I go through my life not expecting anything and get surprises along the way. So I end up giving her the hoodie. She loved it and then she looks at me and she's like, like, hey hold it up let me take a story for my my Instagram and I was like what so then she's like yeah hold up the hoodie so I'm holding up the hoodie and she's like I just arrived in Montreal like they were waiting to greet me and she has her own clothing brand go check it out when I say I gained a thousand followers in 24 hours yeah and that was the first biggest influencer mention I got at the time I had 300 followers on my Instagram page and it was mostly like people that I knew friends friends of friends that were sharing that I had a brand so that follower boost helped me so much I got so many orders just from that mention and she also posted throughout the year with my hoodie she even like DM me later like a few months after saying I love your hoodie and yeah so that's what like put me on the map in the very beginning so that's why I'm telling you guys you have to push to get those connections you have to put yourself out there to get those connections in this case I did my little inv investigation work and I like planned it out but nothing was promised when I was looking at those flights like I was promise to get a story and be in her vlog and all of this you know it was a chance that I took if you're in the media industry you will most probably get invited to events go to those events talk to people make connections connections are the key to success you never know who you'll meet out there another important thing that I want to mention about influencer marketing is a trust bond between you and the influencer and by that I mean example you start collaborating with an influencer and you send them stuff they kind of promote you freestyle in their stories in their posts nothing's really planned you just send them stuff they promote you when they want if ever at some point that influencer is actually bringing back a lot of sales a lot of visibility to you it's important to kind of recognize their work so if you've been working with this person for a while maybe it would be a good idea to start paying them to like thank them in 
in a way also because they started it for free and now you just want to say thank you I appreciate your work let me pay you that's a great way of creating like a good trust bond with the influencer and it's already amazing right off the bat because they've already mentioned your brand organically throughout their posts and it wasn't like sponsored or anything so their followers have already seen the name of your company and now that you're gonna pay them it's just gonna reinforce the fact that they really like your company and people are actually gonna be more willing to buy and that's what I mean by trust bond and if ever you're working without any paid collaborations it's fine as well just keep working with the same influencers I feel like collabs where you just do like a one-time thing is not the best I would recommend testing a whole bunch of influencers seeing which ones that pay off the most that their content and posts you like the most as well and once you've tried a whole bunch of people then maybe select the ones that you want to pursue a collaboration like series with them that's what I do for my company I always like test out new people and then I see like how fast they get back with posts see if they take the time to actually make like good pictures the quality of the content as well if I really see that they care about collaborating with my brand I will continue collaborating with them people always like doing that they always like sticking with brands that they like working continuously with them so that's just great and that's what I mean by trust bond between the influencer you and even also the audience because it's like a little triangle you know you want to collab with the influencer bring in customers get sales collab with the influencer get customers bring in sales so it's like a triangle type of situation you know third point that I want to bring up this is good if you want to track if a promotion is actually working or not it's a little trick that I acquired over the years of working with my company and working with influencers the best way to promote is by sending PR packages when you send a PR package you can include a little card I always do this because I find it so nice and even myself as a content creator when I receive uh, packages I love it when brands write me little notes Notes, like handwritten notes so I always write a little handwritten note and then I add a code that the influencer could share with their community and this is a great way to track if that person is actually bringing in sales because if that person mentions their code and their community watches a story and wants to buy they're gonna use the code so all the sales that you get from that code you know are uniquely from that influencer if you share a promo code a general promo code with a whole bunch of influencers how are you supposed to know which which one brought in the most sales so that's like a very easy way to track if an influencer is actually bringing back sales and if their community is interacting properly with the collaboration and the posts that they're doing for your product I just want to recap a few little tips and tricks to build your Instagram page as a business for the fourth point so it's just like three little tricks that you can do to easily grow your page so the first one is post content regularly post often so I would say post three Instagram posts a day including like three to four stories so there's always stuff happening on your page and just think about it this way all the people that are following your company page if you keep them simulated and always seeing your stuff the more they see the stuff the more they want it that's just how it works like it's the same thing with ads like when you watch a show and they show a cracker commercial four times the more you see the commercial you'll you'll want the crackers more by the fourth time seeing the commercial than the second time you know what I mean keep posting make them see those shirts clothing or any like whether your product is whatever the more they see your product the more they see your service the more they want it that's how it works also a very good thing is to have a nice feed not too overcrowded have some pictures in there that are like spacing out the photos not just always the same type of picture you can have like somebody wearing the product or using the product in one then have like a close-up of the product like try to vary your feed a little bit make it breathable not too concentrated with like the same stuff because people won't like that it's just not not visually pleasing another trick for starting up your Instagram page because this is something that is very important when you have a small page people are always gonna look at your Instagram page especially if they find you on social media they're gonna check out your page you're gonna see if people actually bought from you in the tagged pictures are they like posting with your stuff a great way to get active followers that will actually buy from your brand and it's also a great way to target what type of followers you want so this is giveaways I I grew my brand's page so much because of giveaways and I was making sure I was collaborating with influencers that had followers that would actually buy my stuff so I would go with girl influencers that had a following that were mostly women because my brand is more like women's clothes than men's clothes there are some pieces that are for men but it's more like girls that buy from my brand so I knew that their followers were girls and I checked the ages like teenagers so that was great so by doing those giveaways I 
I gained a lot of potential customers that fitted perfectly with my demographic and it was just amazing and it's super easy and you gain a lot of people all at once and the way those giveaways were kind of formatted was that I was giving example a gift card to the influencer and these were like groups of influencers so it'd be like five girls doing the same giveaway and they would promote the giveaway on each one of their pages so example one girl had 40k another one had 20k imagine how many people we were reaching with that giveaway it's insane an example you can give like a hundred dollar gift card so it only cost you a hundred dollars to gain so much visibility all the people that would participate in the giveaway would have to follow those five girls in addition to all the companies that were participating in the giveaway and those are super effective especially Especially if you target influencers that have a very engaging audience and one thing that I wanted to mention is that example I'm a consumer and I want to buy from a brand I'm obviously gonna go see their Instagram page and see the pictures they have the people that wear their clothes if it's an active page or not and also check their tag pictures to see if people are actually buying and posting in their stuff I feel like it's very important to get your page to at least 10,000 not only because you can swipe up and link your website in your stories but it also shows that you're in like a professional brand or like a recognized brand on Instagram and it's really stupid because there's brands that are so amazing that have less than 10k followers but they kind of get like shamed for not having 10k even though they have amazing products and their content is great whatever people will be a lot more attracted to your page when you have more followers and that's just how it works in today's society like people are attracted to things that are popular so that's why I put a lot of emphasis on the fact that you should work on your Instagram page a lot to get it to 10k it's a lot of work um do giveaways do collaborations but get that page to 10k as soon as you can so that people can actually take your page seriously so that's all the tips and tricks i have to share with you guys for today i have so many more to cover but these are the, p the points i wanted to talk about in this video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more videos also don't forget to follow my instagram it's sabrina atam i'll have it linked right here and finally, don't forget to follow my TikTok page. I post on there every day. It's just Sabrina A. Tom. Once again, I'll link it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. I got so many comments, feedbacks from the first episode saying that I helped some of you guys and you enjoyed the video. You enjoyed the little facts and tips and tricks that I was sharing. So that's great. That's why I'm making the series to hopefully inspire or help one of you guys that wants to maybe start an online business. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!